We have very little data. Uh, remember that both enzalutamide and abiraterone were uh, conducted in a very quick time period. Neither study allowed the other drug to be used during the study. Of course, as enzalutamide was finishing, abiraterone was approved in the uh, post-chemotherapy space. But by the time abiraterone was approved, the enzalutamide had finished its accrual in the post-chemotherapy. But in the pre-chemotherapy space, the enzalutamide trial, although done not just in the U.S. where abiraterone was approved, but overseas as well, um, abiraterone was available. So it may uh, alter the survival outcome of the enzalutamide. I am not sure that um, uh, abiraterone uh, is not cross-resistant with enzalutamide. Now, they work differently. Abiraterone affecting the enzymes that, that you know, convert the cholesterol precursors to testosterone, whereas enzalutamide affecting the androgen receptor pathway. So one affects the key, the other one affects the key hole, so to speak. So one would expect them to be synergistic, but um, biology has a way of being a little more complicated than that. So we'll see um, whether there's truly the ability to go from abiraterone to enzalutamide.